It is June 9, 2016. This is the Watchman News, and I'm Mike Callahan. So we have some breaking news propaganda to report. Uh, We'll get right on into it. Uh, This is coming from RT. And U.S. airstrikes in Afghanistan to expand as Taliban attacks grow. I'll put the link to this article, of course, in the description tab. Facing a rebounding Taliban insurgency, meaning we must be giving them more arms, ammunition, and training, the U.S. will expand airstrikes in Afghanistan, according to a senior U.S. defense official, the Associated Press reported. The new plan may affect the timeline of withdrawal for the 98,000 or 9,800, I'm sorry, U.S. troops stationed there. The anonymous U.S. official was not permitted to speak openly on the matter of airstrikes, according to AP, but the U.S. Department of Defense did address U.S. troop levels in Afghanistan. In every step of our review of Afghanistan, the question of what's the best way to use our forces is something we're constantly looking at. It's also, in the same sense, that we're looking at the number of troops We are always looking at the authorities' question and the best use of our troops. Pentagon Press Secretary Peter Cook said Thursday, Both the current top U.S. commander in Afghanistan, General John Nicholson, and his predecessor, General John Campbell, I wonder if your first name has to be John to be a general. Anyway, who was replaced in March, have advocated for increases in U.S. troop numbers in discussions with Defense Secretary Ash Carter, according to AP. While no precise plan has been outlined, the news comes on the same day a military watchdog spoke on the languishing effort to rebuild the war-torn country. The bottom line is too much has been wasted in Afghanistan. Too much money was spent in too small of a country with too little oversight. The Special Inspector General for the Afghanistan Reconstruction, or SIGAR, John Spoko, told Reuters early Thursday. And if the security situation continues to deteriorate, even areas where money was spent wisely and gains were made could be jeopardized, Sopko added. Unless the new plan changes for the Obama administration's troop withdrawal schedule, over 40% of the 9,800 U.S. troops in Afghanistan before a new president is sworn in next January. Of the $113 billion, with a B, appropriated by Congress for Afghan reconstruction in the last 15 years, some 60% was spent on equipment and training for Afghan security forces, Reuters reported. Sopko could not say whether the money was spent effectively. According to the latest Cigar report published in April, funding also went towards the country's agricultural industry. Reportedly uh, encompassing, whatever, over over half of Afghanistan's workforce, (laughs) encompassing by the way, as, as well as banking, law, infrastructure, new industries, and repelling the drug trade. So, let's just wrap this all up. We're sending a bunch more money over there because the military-industrial complex, or, you know, they, they, they just don't have enough money. You know, all the trillions that we've spent with them so far isn't enough. And uh, I don't believe their golden parachutes are big enough yet. Oh. This, is, this is insane. We, we create rebels... We arm the rebels, we train the rebels, then we train the people to fight the rebels, and then we rebuild what we tear up. I'm kind of lost on the logic, but I think most critically thinking people are.